Okay, in this video we're going to look at the IF function in Excel, which is a handy uh, tool for you testing various scenarios and taking one option if your test is true and another option if it's false. So in this case, we're taking a spreadsheet that we created that was able to look up values and create uh, extended price line items for our order along with a total uh, but we want to recognize our better customers and give them a discount. So we've got a quantity for discount uh, here of 100. If they order 100 or more, we're going to give them a 15% discount. And you can see I've got these cells set up. Uh, you can change those as needed. So let's go ahead and extend our order out and give an extended price with the discount applied. So you can see here in column F, is our standard extended price based on our base unit price. So we're going to uh, go ahead and extend that price with the discount of 15% for the larger items. Okay, first thing we do is start a formula with the equal sign and then in this case we want the if function and you can see Excel helpfully brings up a list of functions that begin with I we're going to go ahead and select if with by double clicking it and you can see here if is pretty simple we're going to set up a logical test uh, what it is we want to see is if um, and then we're going to have a value if it's true and a different value or formula if it's false so in our case what we're going to test for is did the quantity they order for this particular item uh, equal or exceed 100 so if B, I'm sorry, D2 is, let's say, less than 100. So if it's less than 100, we're going to stick with the standard extended price that they um, uh, were offered to begin with. And we separate the items in our formula with a comma. So if D2 is less than H2, comma, we'll use our regular extended price. So that's a very simple formula. We're just going to bring in that cell. Now, you can see that as I move to different areas of the function, Excel helpfully color codes them to give me some clues as to what's going on. And also in this little tool tip here, it highlights the section I happen to be working on. So I'm on the value if false now. So if I'm not less than 100, that means I'm at 100 or greater. So I'm going to, going to apply the discount, uh, which in this case would again be F2. Uh, however, in this case, we were going to multiply it by and whoop, shift 8 to give me my uh, asterisk. Uh, open a parenthesis, 1 minus my discount rate, which is I2. Close my parentheses uh, for this particular format formula and then close parentheses for the overall if function. And now I can press enter and I bring up my uh, function which is good uh, but again we want to test it across the multiple lines. Now one thing you can do is take the quantity for discount and the discount percent and bring those down to every line of your order. Um, you probably don't want to do that because every time you change your uh, discount quantity or your discount percent, you'd have to change it for all of them. So in this case, we've got H2 that we're testing for, which is 100, and we will use the absolute reference, which is the dollar signs we stick in front of the H and the 2. Uh, you could also apply them by pressing F4, which I'm about to do here. And then also, we want to make sure that we stay on this cell for the discount percent. I2, which is over here, and it doesn't matter where you are in the uh, actual cell reference here, uh, you press F4 and I get my two dollar signs. Okay, so I test it out by pressing enter and I see that my price did stay at 67.5, which is great. So now if I copy it down to the next line, I can see I'm expecting to get the discount here because my quantity is over 100. So 
So I bring it down. I can see 127.5. Yes, I did get my discount. So we'll continue pulling this down. 382.50, got my discount. 72.50, did not. Great. So um, let's go ahead and uh, set these up as comma style numbers so that they look a little bit better. And we have uh, successfully used an if statement to apply our discount here.